Challenger won game one and $100. Here come the next cards off the top of the two decks. And the question goes to you, Stoney. Stoney, we found 100 <coughs> married women who have a full-time job. And we asked them, have you ever told your husband you were working late when you were really out with the girls? How <laughs> many women said they had? You were with question. the girls they were out with? Well, it's the same as the husband saying it's out with the boys. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It, what's good for the goose and good for the gandy. Okay, I would say that probably uh, about 22. 22 working women have said they were working late when they were out with the girls, Marcia. When I was working, I wouldn't do it, but I had so many friends that did. I say it's got to be a little higher. Higher. The actual number of married women who told their husband they were working late when they weren't is 10. Not higher, it's lower, Stoney. Oh, this proves the women are better than the men with that. Stoney, you've got, I want to eat Oh, lower, lower, lower. lower than eight. Eight. Oh. Another ace is not lower. Marsha, big break. A oh, two. Two cards higher. Higher than a two. A jack. Jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. A ten. Lower. Whatever's get lower. Yes. Three. Three. And now Marsha needs one card to become the new champion on card charts. Marsha, we asked 100 people in Plains, Georgia. If you owned an apartment building, would you allow an unmarried couple to live in one of the units? How many people in Plains said they would? Oh, right. With all the trouble that they have with people that aren't married, uh, or even that are married, I don't see how they could be prejudiced against it. I'd say it's going to be high, about 78. 78 people in Plains, Georgia, if they had an apartment building, will let an unmarried couple She obviously that. doesn't know about picking peanuts. <laughs> so I can say it's low. <laughs> The actual number of people in Plains who would let an unmarried couple live in their apartment building is 50. You're right, Stoney, it is lower. It is right up the middle, however. And Stoney, you still have an ace. That's a trick of card. We can't have three eighty to pass lower. Lower than an ace? Oh! And when you realize that the cards are dealt out, they came all the way back to the next card. That was like the eighth card down, three in a row. Wow, I've never seen that. Big break for Marsha with a seven. Call this. Let's try higher, please. It is higher. You are the champion. For the win. No. It is not. And we may yet find out if that fourth ace is up there. Stoney, we found 100 kids who come from a family with at least 10 children. And we asked them, if you could, would you like to be an only child? How many kids from large families said they would like to be an only child? I think that's rather low, Jim, because I think uh, the, uh, uh, the fellowship of having a big family, I've known lots of big families, and they seem to have a ball. I would say uh, that... Uh, How many would like to be an only child? I, I would say 19. 19 would like to be an only child if they had their druthers. Oh, I know a lot of friends from a big family. They didn't get the individual attention. I think it's going to be a little higher. Higher. The actual number of kids from large families who would like to be an only child is 11. It is not higher, Stoney. Well, Stoney, we've got to try it lower one more time. Lower than four eight. Eight. There's still one in that deck. Let's find out. It's lower. Wow, oh, this is a tough one. I... Lower. He's going to risk it. Lower than an I. No, it's not lower. Stoney loses them both, and more importantly, gives Marsha a free chance again to play for the championship. Let's try higher. Higher again. This oh! time, he's ready to the champion. <laughs> and Stoney, we thank you for joining us. You're leaving us with $900. You're a nice gentleman. Thank you for being here. Stoney Bay, Marsha, come on down here. Congratulations. And Marsha goes for the big money right after this. <laughs> Now you go for the big money. Let's get to the money cards. Come on, Marcia. I hope you're going to top things off good now. And once again, the money cards all shuffled and cut. We'll start dealing them out. As you know, there's seven cards there and a lot of money to be made. Now just, just watch your betting. Be careful. Don't get carried away. But when you get the good cards, got to go, right? right? Well, you know how to do it. Oh, yeah. Then let's do it. Big bet. Got about at least half the money. Here's $200. Start you off with a good money card, so a good base card. Come on, Hokey. Cut them good. We start with a five. Oh, good card. Uh, $100 higher. 
Yes. Gonna play that five yes. higher. One hundred dollars. Yes. Three hundred. One hundred dollars lower. One hundred dollars lower than a ten. It is oh, a seven. Four hundred. Fifty dollars higher. Fifty dollars higher than a seven. Yes, oh, with a ten again. Good job. Kind of middle card. You get four hundred and fifty dollars out of it. Two hundred dollars as we bring it up. You got six fifty. Do you want the ten? Change it, please. Let's see a good card now. You've had enough of those middle cards. That's oh, a good card. card. All of it higher. Six hundred and fifty dollars higher than a three. Yes, oh, with a ten. Three hundred dollars lower than a jack. Oh. Well, you had good instincts about that. You held back. You still have a thousand dollars and two cards to go. Green is good. I'm gonna bet eight hundred higher. Higher. Eight hundred lower. Excuse me. Lower. Oh, eight hundred okay. lower. Eight hundred dollars lower than a queen. Yes. Oh. Eighteen hundred. Up goes the four. Good card. All good. All of it. All of it higher. All of it. Ooh. Nothing for three thousand six hundred dollars. If this card is higher than a four,